Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today we are going through three days of hairstyles from start to finish using only drugstore products. So I've noticed that a lot of you guys have been asking for drugstore product recommendations and I thought it would be fun to pick out some products that you can get at Target. So I both looked for some old favorites that I already owned and went into Target to pick out some new stuff to try in today's video. So you've got a fun mix of tried and true favorites and a couple new things that I wanted to try out. We're going through everything. I'm giving my hair a deep treatment, I'm washing it, I'm blow dry routining it, and then I'm doing three hairstyles. So it's gonna be a fun time. I mean, it's very front heavy with all the products we're gonna talk about, but the hairstyles themselves, super easy and all now part of my current rotation. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. And welcome to me pre-shower. Hmm. I wanted to hop on camera real quick so you guys could see me trying out the Beauty and Planet Lavender and Argan Oil Natural Oils Infusion. This little dude is supposed to be either a pre-shampoo treatment or a leave-in treatment. Because my hair is really fine and can get weighed down really easily, I'm gonna do the pre-shampoo treatment because that will go better. Anyway, let's put this on the hair. So a pre-shampooing treatment can do just as much as a deep conditioner, but it can be good because it's sitting on your hair outside of the shower, so you're not using any extra water while you're letting the oil sit. And you can leave it on as long as you want. A few minutes, you could leave it on overnight. You could put it in your hair, put your hair in a tight bun, go work out, come back, wash it out, any number of things. It can be super, super versatile. So I'm gonna stick my hair in a braid and let this sit for a few minutes, and then I'll jump in the shower and see you guys after. And I am back Back from the shower, the mask rinsed out just fine. I did double shampoo just for safety. <laughs> and for my shampoo, I used the Kristen S Micellar Shampoo. It's one of my favorites. I have a whole review video on her scalp line and this is in it if you want more information. And then for conditioner, I used her Daily Scalp and Hair Mask. Even though it says mask, it also says daily. And I find that it's on the same level of moisturization as other conditioners I like to use. So I did that. <laughs> that being said, let's take my hair down. And then for leave-in conditioner, I have the Kristen S leave-in conditioner. <laughs> now, I looked through Target so much for a new one that I haven't used before. However, I kept coming back to this one. It just really detangles well, it adds shine, it adds smoothness. It's just a home run. <laughs> and my final product, I feel like we've talked about a whole lot of products at this point. <laughs> we've done shampoo, conditioner, a deep treatment, and leave-in. Those are the categories that I often employ in my shower routine, but I'm gonna add in a new one today, and this is the Salon Graphics NYC So Whipped Whipped Mousse. This is for frizz-free curls, weightless hold, and long-lasting style. When I did my fine hair tips and tricks video, I mentioned how helpful mousse can be, and then you guys were asking for a mousse recommendation, and I realized I have not been using mousse in a while. So I picked this one up to see how I feel about it. Now this mousse says that you can use it on natural curls or waves to help augment them, but it also says that it adds lasting hold. So it will work for somebody like me who has you know, straighter hair and I'm going to curl my hair after. It puts the hold in your hair and that hold will hold whatever you do, whether it's a blowout, using a curling iron, or just letting your hair air dry. All right, so I'm just going to get that on my hands and then bare claw it into my scalp. Once that's done, I'm going to wipe my hands together again to get the product back on my fingers and then use that over the ends. That way you get the most at the roots to help you with volume or taming, whichever way you need. And then you have the extra on the ends to add hold. And now as per my usual routine, I'm going to use my Kristen S blow dryer. This is a drugstore hair tool. And I'm gonna flip my hair upside down and dry it until is dry. Now this dryer is a little bit more expensive than you typically think of when you think of like a drugstore price point, but to me, hair dryers are something that you buy every like five-ish years, and so I'm okay with spending a little bit more if I know that five years worth of blowing my hair out is going to look better. So it's not supposed to be a volumizing mousse, but because I dried my hair upside down, there should be some volume there. What do you think? Is this more volume than Ooh, I typically have? For sure. Okay. I see more like body and volume in your ear height. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like more fullness. Yeah. Which I'm always here for. My hair looks puffy, but that's just because of the way I dry it. So far, it feels very soft, very silky. I think it's gonna look its best once I finish curling it, or conversely, if I was leaving my hair straight after I let it sit for an hour or two. My strategy is always to over poof my hair because it's naturally flat. So if I over poof it, then an hour or two later, 
it'll look right. <laughs> so for my curling iron, I am using the Kristen S one inch curling iron. I feel like you guys have seen me use this a lot because I have. And while that bad boy heats up, I'm going in with the Kristen S dry conditioner. And I promise I did not mean for all of this to be Kristen S. It's just my favorite drugstore line, okay? So this is actually meant for the second day to help add shine and moisture back into your hair. It also adds heat protection, but I have been playing around with it on the first day hair and I really like it on first day hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so now for the actual curls. I'm feeling a little lazy today, so what I'm gonna do is go in sections, but I'm just gonna wrap my hair around the curling iron and let it go. That's it. Now I'm gonna break through to break up the curls and let's see how this looks. Oh, Anna, what do we think? Oh, wow. Oh, I got a wow. I like the volume. You think that there's volume too? For okay. Sure. It looks like they're holding the shape of the curl better. And in your roots in the back. That's yeah, because nice. this area doesn't usually hold the curl at all. I didn't even no. think about that. So it works. I would say so. <laughs> all right, $7 mousse from Target, come through. You know, I've been leaning a lot more towards the loose curls and waves because that's just been what's happening when I curl my hair. But I think the mousse made a difference because I see more of a curl, especially up here where I typically can't get a curl to stick at all which is a good sign for those of you guys with hard to curl hair. Okay, and those are the curls. I am feeling so good about them. They are full of volume and bounce, and I don't feel like they're falling as quickly as usual, which is a great sign. I am gonna use one more thing. I wanted to try the under control finishing spray. This is also from Salon Graphics, and this one is medium hold and resist humidity, which is good because it is raining outside. <laughs> so just gonna do a little spritz and that's gonna be it for today. I feel like I typically have some kind of spray in my hair, so it's good to have the hairspray, that way everything's pretty controlled and normal. And there we go, this is how I often do my first day with my hair because I've gone through washing it and drying it and curling it. I don't always add another style on top of that because I wanna give my hair a break and I'm probably done by that point. So tomorrow I'll come back and give you guys some second day hair inspo and we'll see how well these curls held up. See you then. Welcome to day two. Check out the curls. I feel like they did very well. We can only see this much of my shirt. I look a little bit like a preacher. A little bit. So the only thing I would really touch up is maybe the curls around my face because I didn't do those very tight yesterday and now they've loosened up a little bit. And then the always problematic, the nape of my hair straightened out a little bit. However, Overall, this looks really good and held up very well. I would say even better than usual, so I am quite pleased. For my day two hairstyle, I want to utilize an accessory that I found at Target. I thought it was really cute. It was supposed to be a headband, kind of tied like this, but somebody had untied it and left it behind, and I thought that was even more brilliant. I mean, now you could tie it here and make it into like a little ponytail scrunchie with scarf ties. You can wear it as a headband. You can braid it in. You can wrap it around. There is so much room for activity. Also, I want to try these. What are these? <laughs> I saw them at Target and I was like, no, I have to try it. I have to know. They are plastic bobby pins. Riddle me what? I don't understand what these are supposed to do. Why are they plastic? Is it for aesthetic? Are people allergic to metal? Why? <laughs> but y'all know I had to try it. So we're going to try to do today's hairstyle with these and see how it goes. Why? Feels like cheap plastic. The spring back is a joke. The one cool thing that I am seeing is that there are little tiny teeth underneath the bumps to help grab the hair. Maybe that will be useful. Let's do our hairstyle. First things first, we're going to put the hair into a half up ponytail and I'm going to leave down some hair around my face to help frame it. Next, I'm going to put the hair into a bun. I'm going to back comb it first, then wrap it, and then try to use these clear plastic bobby pins. Dear sweet, Bobby Pin Jesus, help me. I'm just gonna try sticking it in. I'm afraid to move, but it seems to be holding. They're hard to push in, I don't know why. Okay, I'm slowly moving my head. Seems okay. These feel about three times as thick as a normal bobby pin. Well, you could not crisscross those, that's for sure. All right, there's three in there now. I'm shocked. Well, there we go, it's moving a little bit, but it held. It feels like you're putting a full Happy Meal toy in your hair. Oh, it's not staying in your hair? Your hair's thicker than mine, so that makes sense. Let me just see what happens when I slide it along as if I was trying to pin back a piece of hair. Ow, it hurts. 
The teeth like grab on. You can't, that's as far as I could get it in. Oh, and now I can't slide it back out because the teeth are grabbing it. Oh, that scares me. I've got like three or four of those in my bun. I'm not putting those things in my hair again. I don't care. Once your bun is in, if you have a cute little accessory like this, you can wrap it around the base and tie it and it's done. Unintended bonus with the earrings and the turtleneck and the scarf. This feels kind of 70s and I like it. Hey yo! Guess who forgot to put on lip product? Pardon me while I put on some lipstick to complete this look. Can I just say, Luminous sent me their Lion King collection. So good. And then I really like the hairspray that I used yesterday. I don't feel any crunch or weight on my hair at all. And I do feel like between the mousse and the hairspray, my curls stayed well. So already a thumbs up for those. Like there's no weird texture on my hair or anything. I will absolutely use them again. So now that I know I love those, let's try something else. <laughs> I'm gonna use this Tresemme Compressed Micro Mist, and this is their Hold Level 1, just because I don't wanna add anything super holdy onto my hair, because then it could contribute to texture or crunch as the days go on. You always have to think about that. If you're adding products in, you're adding on to all the stuff you've already done, so you don't ever wanna go too hard which is why we're doing this one. <laughs> Just gonna keep these curls rocking to the next day. Oh yeah. So that is our second day hairstyle. Again, I put so much work into the first day so that my second and third day are the easiest ever. This takes like two minutes, it looks really cute, and I really like this. I think I'm gonna put it in my rotation for whenever I'm running behind, which is always. Hello and welcome to day three. All right, things are holding up pretty well, I think. Now the girl pattern is a little bit looser. There's a little bit more oil up top, but all in all, I've got to say the volume and the curl stayed. So 10 out of 10, loving the products I used at the beginning of this. <laughs> so that being said, let's do to today's hair. Now, my roots are not betraying me too badly right now. However, as we all know, as it goes throughout the day, you get more oil, so to keep everything looking good, I'm gonna use some dry shampoo. I've got an old favorite. This is the Herbal Essences Cleanse White Strawberry and Sweet Mint Dry Shampoo. This stuff smells bomb. And if you can hear, there is not much left in there. <laughs> I like the Herbal Essences Dry Shampoos because there's not a lot of fanfare, like they help to clean and absorb, but it's not super textury or anything like that. It's just very lightweight and it gets the job done. And now for the hairstyle. I'm going to start by loosely sweeping my hair back into a middle ponytail. Short hair, just switch this to a half updo and continue to follow the steps. There you go. And if you want to utilize some ponytail tricks to make it a little perkier, fuller, whatever, go ahead and do that. Be my guest. I'm going to stop here because I think it's cute, but I want to use another accessory that I found at Target because this is so cute. I love this kind of blush beige leopard print. I'm just going to put this right on top of my head and then pull it around and underneath my ponytail. And from here, I just want to make a couple adjustments. First things first, I'm going to loose some of the hair around my face, folding under part of the back of it just to kind of take down the volume right here. Then I'm gonna loosen up the hair behind the headband and wrap some hair around my elastic, and this is done. And there's our day three hairstyle. It is cute, it makes the most of whatever texture you have left, and if necessary, the headband can cover your roots. But you know, dry shampoo can also help with that. Headband, dry shampoo. One or both, always good. <laughs> and there you go, those are three days of hairstyles from literal start to finish using only drugstore products. I had such a fun time making this. It was really fun to both shop my own stash but also go into Target and pick out things from there for this video. If you guys also enjoyed it, you can hit the like button and tell me in the comments if you'd like to see more of this. I was thinking it could be super fun to do this at places like Walmart or CVS as well. So if you'd like to see that, let me know. As far as the products that I used in this video, I think all but the plastic bobby pins were a home run. <laughs> I really enjoyed the oil treatment and the mousse. I thought the hairspray was definitely good, but the mousse and the oil treatment are the ones I'm most excited about continuing to use as time goes on. I also hope this was some good hair inspo for you guys. I know that I go in with the intricate hairstyles a lot, but every now and then it's fun to just throw together something that literally takes two minutes and looks super cute. But if you wanna see more intricate stuff or you like this kind of laid back stuff, let me know in the comments. Always wanna know what you guys wanna see. But that being said, that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you're new here, you can hit that subscribe button to join the Bradolic family here on Kaylee and Melissa, and all of y'all can hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. But that's it for today. Whether you are old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah!
Bye! Nailed it! Gotten what I started fighting for. Oh my god, right in the nostalgia. I can't wait for four. No. Wait, is that coming out on my birthday week? Because that's when the new Pixar's come out. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be a 30 year old watching Toy Story for my birthday. <laughs>